right, guys. It's time to bake again. I am getting ready to bake a pineapple pine. Oh, wait a minute. A pineapple pound cake. Okay, it's a pineapple pound cake. These are the ingredients. I'm going to use this can of crushed pineapples. I have three cups of white lily all-purpose flour in here that I have sifted. Let me show you all. It has been sifted as three cups of white lily all-purpose flour. I've got five room temperature eggs. I've got three sticks of room temperature per butter. I've got some orange, orange or orange, however you want to say it, orange um, extract. I, I love McCormick brand, uh, anything really. <laughs> uh, but orange extract. I've got three cups of Dixie Crystal Sugar in here. That's three cups of Dixie Crystal Sugar. And then I have one cup of buttermilk. One cup of buttermilk. Okay, and so those are our ingredients as I get ready to make a pineapple pound cake. All right, let's get ready to get into this video. Okay, guys, we're going to get into this pineapple pound cake uh, recipe. I got this recipe off of YouTube. Uh, the name of his channel is um, Soul Food. Uh, I knew I was old school soul food. That's, that's the name of his channel. Old school soul food with Chef Charles. And so I'm going to attempt to do this pineapple pound cake. Eric has been just worrying me for about, oh, about at least two or three weeks to do a pineapple pound cake. So here's my hand at it. Okay, come on, um, my video person. We're going to come over to my... Um, mixing bowl here first okay as you all can see i've got my three sticks of butter can you see that in there mm -hmm. my three sticks of butter are in here at room temperature i'm gonna put my mixer down and we're gonna go and mix these for about one minute you just mix it for about one minute. we're gonna mix um let me just scrape down the sides of my bowl y'all know how i am i just want to scrape down here away from it something you don't want it that close okay okay i'm gonna get some off the um mm -hmm. thing why do it look like um frosting i know it looks good then that's how you want it to look all right so now i'm gonna put my butter back down in here i'm gonna put my splash bar on and now i'm gonna put in my sugar okay I've got three cups of uh, sugar here, and I'm going to get ready to put my sugar in, okay? So let me turn my mixer on. Let me just turn it down. Okay. Scrape down the sides, and then the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to, Jaden, you're going to have to keep it still. Destiny, yes, please come help him. He's he's trying to help, bless his heart, but I need it to be still, okay? I need it to stand still so the people can see. Just like that, okay? So I'm going to just scrape down the sides of my bowl, guys, like this right here, like I normally do. Okay? Get all this sugar from around the sides. Like this here. Okay? Now, I'm going to put this back in here. Close it up. And for 10 minutes, I'm going to beat this 
uh, butter and sugar because I want it to be where there's no fine grains of sugar. And y'all know I like to say it looks like ice cream. So let's get the mix in here in 10 minutes, okay? So I'll come back when I'm done with this. Still whipping it, guys. We're trying to get that grainy sugar out of there. So you have to whip it about 10 minutes. 8 to 10 minutes. Okay, guys, now that we've got our sugar where we want it, now I'm going to put in my eggs one at a time, just like I normally do with my pound cake. Let that incorporate in the uh, mixture. Alright, let's put another one in. This recipe calls for five eggs. When I usually make my pound cakes, I usually do six eggs. Because I thought a pound cake meaning a pound of uh, butter, a pound of sugar, a pound of eggs. That's what I thought. But anywho, uh, the recipe calls for five eggs. That's our fifth egg right there going in. Let's Okay, so I got all of my eggs in. Let me um let's take our shield off and let me just scrape down the sides and make sure all of this egg mixture is in here. Like this right here. Let me clean my spatula off. I can't stand a dirty spatula. Oh, I just All of, it, all of the goodness off of here. Okay. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but I'm using my whisk this time instead of my paddle um, attachment. I just want to see how it is. I just want to try the whisk. But right now I'm going to put in... They don't, I've never heard of a pineapple extract. I don't know if they have one or not, but um, the recipe calls for um, orange extract. He said it works just as good. So I'm going to put in one teaspoon of orange extract, okay? Put that in. All right. Put this over here to wash it. And put this back up here where it goes. Okay. And now we're going to mix this in here. Oh, you can smell it. Mmm, -hmm, that smells just, oh, that smells so good. Yummy. All right, we're going to mix that in there. Now, the next step is alternating milk and the flour. Okay, milk and flour. Let me put my shield back on. And what I have is buttermilk. I'm putting buttermilk. So I'm going to start with flour. Put my flour in first. And I'm going to put a little milk. Like that. 
alternating flour and milk. All right, now I'm gonna turn that off, take my shield off. Of course, wipe down my sides. And I'm gonna, um, I just can't. So I gotta make sure all this flour is getting in here. Okay, so wiping down the sides, scraping our sides down, making sure everything gets into the batter. Okay, guys, making sure everything gets into this batter. It's just me. It's me. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit more flour in here. About that much. Okay. I'm going to let this in. Just let it start off a minute. Let it start off on. A little bit like that. Put a little bit more milk in. Milk like that. Okay, take this flash guard off again. Y'all, I have to get these sides in here. One day, I'm gonna get me that um, this that mixer by Paula Dean, where it, it mix it, it uh, wipes down the sides for you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get me one of those. One of these old good old days, Lord. Put some more flour in. Like that. Uh oh, Teresa. That in like that. Now, put my splash guard back on here. Like that, like that. Mixing that. We just alternating flour and milk. Flour and milk. Okay, this is it. This is it for the milk. Make sure I get all all this butter milk out of here. That's it for the middle. And you don't want to beat your cake too long. So that's that. That's good enough. Now I'm going to, um, oops, let me do this like this first. Take this off. Then I'm going to put the last of my flour in. Okay? I'm going to put the last of the flour. All right, that's it for the flour. Last of the flour, and then I'm gonna scrape down the side. Uh oh, I threw away my, my knife. Get All right. Let me scoot by you here, mommy. Get all of my stuff right here. Make sure we get all of What I've got here is some pineapples 
Can y'all see my pineapples right here? I'm going to fold my pineapples in. But hold your horses. Let me get me another spatula. I want to fold my pineapples in. So hold on one second. Okay, guys. So I'm going to get me another. I got me another. Um, spatula here. Let me get this out of here. I'm going to use this spatula here, and I'm going to put, this is a 20-ounce can of um, dull crushed pineapple, and I'm going to just put them in here. Make sure you drain it real good. I've been draining these for about 45 minutes. And here's the juice from the pineapples, and I'm going to use this to make my glaze, my cream cheese, and my um, confectioner sugar. And um, pineapple juice, I'm going to make me a glaze, uh, a, a pineapple, what I call it? A pineapple glaze. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just fold these pineapples in a mix. Just folding it in. Just folding them in here. Just folding them in. Rolling them in the mixture. Making sure I go all the way to the bottom and get them folded in, okay? All right, and now get my baker's joy, spray my pan real good. Okay, and now we're going to put, well, let me turn my oven on, 325, okay, now that we've folded it in, we're going to put our batter in. Just like this. Just like that. Let me go back in here. Y'all know how I am. I got to get all of the yummy goodness out of the bowl, out of the bowl here. I like to get it all out. Every bit that I can get out. Okay. Like that. See? Spatula clean off here. Like that. And I always Alright. And that's it guys. We're gonna Alright, we're going to um I'm gonna bake it for about an hour and 10 minutes on 325. And then uh, when I take it out of the oven, you know I'll show it to you. So 325 for about an hour and 10 minutes. I'll probably check it at the 45 minute mark. I'll stick my toothpick in there to make sure, you know, whether it's done or not. But usually it takes about an hour and 10 minutes on 325. So hold your horses. I've never made a, a pineapple pound cake before. So we're gonna see how this turned out, guys. Okay, guys, the timer is going off, so let's take our cake out. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Will you all look at that beautiful cake? Can you all see that? Look at that beautiful cake. Let us see if it's done. Let me get my, um, let me find my toothpick. Let's see what we're working with here. Can y'all see that? It's coming out clean. Uh oh, that one there looks like it might have a little. Let's see. That one may look a little. Let me try another corner here. 
That mm -hmm. still might be a little bit. Let me put it back in maybe another five minutes because I got to have my toothpick clean. So that side count a little <laughs> bit. We're going to give it another five minutes and I'll be done. I'm getting ready to flip the cake out. It's been 10 minutes. And I'm going to flip it out on this little, isn't this yellow pineapple-ish uh, plate? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Let us see how this goes. Okay, I'll do it like this first. I got to get my hand up on here. This is how I use it. Okay, all right. So we're going to flip it out and see how this turns out. Sit this right here. Uh-oh. I maybe done messed up. Because I thought it was going to come all out on my arm. Um, on my plate, real cute. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Look, let me straighten it up on my plate. There we go. That's what I have wanted. <laughs> Y'all see that? Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, that pineapple. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to let that sit for about 20 or 30 minutes, and I'm going to come back and glaze it for y'all, okay? We're going to glaze it, and then, of course, uh, the man with the plan who wanted me to bake this, he's going to test it for you all and um, let you know how it tastes, okay? So when this cools, I'll, I'll come back and we'll glaze it, okay? And let me show you all again. This is the... This is my, what I call it, my pineapple glaze. <laughs> oh, with some yellow food coloring, pineapple glaze. Okay? All right. You want to let it cool? Okay. All right, guys. So the cake has cooled. And I kind of tested it there. It's cool. And now we're going to put our glaze on here. And we'll start right, right around here and work around. Y'all can see that it's yellow like pineapple. Don't watch it fall. Okay, now I'm gonna go in the insides with it a little so some can fall down on the inside, around the insides of it or two. Okay, like this right here. Okay. This side here fall a little bit more. Okay, like that. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Let me just put a little bit more around here. Yep, we want it to fall down in there. I'm just going to help it a little bit. Help it to fall just a little bit more. Okay. All right, guys. So this is Eric's pineapple. Okay. Pineapple glaze pineapple cake. Pineapple glaze pineapple cake. There it is. There it is. You can see it falling. It's falling. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And so now I'm going to cut him a piece and let him taste it and tell you all how it tastes, so hold your horse. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Look at the pineapple. All Let's see what this tastes like. It looks real good. Does it? Praise the Lord, thank you for the food. We're about to receive that new mission for our body. Christ's name, amen. Mm, that looks very moist. Mm-hmm. You can taste the pineapple. It's real good. Is it? I never know why when I get to taste these cakes and stuff, mm -hmm. I get a child's portion, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> it's just a taste test, baby. But, um, <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank she did you. A, she hit another one out of the park. Thank you, baby. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to our channel, go ahead and subscribe, share, Hit that notification button. Turn on your bell so you can be notified when we um, upload content. And again, I thank my wife for making this for me. Um, and I, we really, we really, I can't say this enough, enjoy how people are just subscribing. Yes. Watch our videos to the from the beginning to the end. That helps with our algorithm. And we get more of y'all joining our family. Yes. So until the next time. Let the journey continue. Bon appetit. <laughs>